one that's going to be forwardly placed. He was the sharpest out there on track, circling, moving well, and coming back as he just reared up uh, behind the starting gate. Jose Ortiz jumped off off of him. Uh, I think I might have just... Uh, put a little bit of a jinx on him, but it looks like Jose Ortiz landed on his feet and the assistant starters who are so great were able to hold on to workout, Greg, but look like a slight delay just making sure that everybody is okay. Uh, his workout did rear up behind the gate, but able to hold on to him and keep his feet on the ground. Well, here's the outrider doing his best to try and catch up with Workout, who's putting in some work right now. This horse is going to be scratched with as much as running he's doing now. Luckily, we saw Jose Ortiz smiling, and he's okay. Right. I mean, we don't know for certain he would be scratched, but history has horses that run off like this be scratched. And obviously, if you bet on him, I would assume that you would like him to be scratched as well. And I'm glad he's okay, and it looks like the outriders caught him. I'm a little disappointed that we won't get to settle the argument that Jonathan and I were having about him on the racetrack, where we want these handicapping arguments to be settled. And that just shows you, again, how tough it is to win a riding title when things like this happen, when Jose Ortiz has a great opportunity to get another win, equal, draw even with his brother again, and then he gets tossed at the gate. Exactly. There's, there's – in horse racing, there's a million things that can go wrong and so very few that can go right. That was bizarre. I guess maybe this, did the starting gate crew assume? I, I don't know. I, I, that this I, horse was going to be a scratch because as far as he ran off, and I think that's maybe what happened, and now they put the three back on the starting game. I've not well, seen that Clearly before. the odds have drifted, and he's now 2-1 to one because people who bet him are canceling their bets, and understandably so. In the history of working here, I've seen horses run off about a furlong and run. On a rare occasion, we saw one at Aqueduct. Um, that horse ran last and came back to win its next start, as a matter of fact. Um not wow. our tread light. Yeah, I would <laughs> very much tread lightly here with a horse who's already put in a little work, and now making his way back to the starting gate. So he's he's unscratched. He's back in the race, and Jose Ortiz is getting ready to remount here in a little bit. Wow, interesting. I, I, this is something that I'm going to say. I I haven't seen this a horse that ran off as far as he ran off because I'm going to say he ran off a good half a mile, three yeah. eighths to a half mile. This is, no unusual. He'd this come is out. unusual. Starting gate crew did as well, taking his number off the board. Right, we saw them doing that. So, but I mean, perhaps the now keep in mind the vet will take a look at him. They always take a look at him, break to the gate, run off. They take a look at him. The vet says something is wrong, or you know they're not going to run him. But as of now, he's not scratched. <laughs> 